When a person drinks water or eats food contaminated with the cholera bacteria, these bacteria make their way to the small intestine. The bacteria then secrete a toxin called cholerogen, which enters epithelial cells via endocytosis. The effects of this toxin can be lethal if untreated. But how exactly does this toxin affect the cell? The answer lies in an important cell signaling component, the G protein. To understand how G proteins work, let's take a look at the epithelial cell's membrane. The G protein coupled receptor is coupled with the heterotrimeric G protein with its alpha, beta, and gamma subunits. In its inactive state, a GDP is bound to G alpha, and once a ligand binds to the receptor, the GDP is replaced with a GTP and the G alpha subunit separates. In intestinal epithelial cells, the G alpha binds and activates adenocyclase, which then converts a small amount of ATP to cyclical AMP. The production of cyclical AMP activates PKA, which then induces numerous cellular responses, including the opening of chloride channels to drive the chloride ions out of the cell, and the activation of the sodium hydrogen antiporters to prevent sodium uptake. Under normal circumstances, after a while, the GTP is hydrolyzed to GDP, G-alpha recombines with the beta and gamma subunits, and adenocyclase is deactivated. The cyclical AMP production is also stopped, so the signal is turned off and the cell returns to its equilibrium state. So what does this have to do with cholera? The catalytic A chain of the cholera toxin covalently modifies the G protein and traps in its active state. This leads to constant activation of the pathway. The production of excess cyclical AMP activates PKA. Constant activation of PKA leads to the loss of sodium and chloride ions from the cell. To maintain its osmotic pressure, the cell releases water as well. The loss of a large amount of water and electrolytes leads to the classic symptom of cholera, diarrhea. This is how, if untreated, a small amount of toxin produced by cholera can lead to massive dehydration and eventually death.